were first called Songs of Hungary. And uh, so I'm wearing a Hungarian blouse from, that I bought in Budapest a few years ago. Uh, Bartok wrote these in 1915 as well. I don't know why I'm stuck on 101 years ago. But um, then he orchestrated them in 1917. And um, after the war, Romania annexed Transylvania. So these are actually from the Transylvanian region, and he renamed them Romania folk dances. Uh, the, the one I'd like to say something about is the fifth one, that is the children's Romanian polka. Uh, I don't know how you can dance a polka when it's not in 2-4 time. It's in 3-4, three, 3-4, four, three, four, four. So um, I think it's more of a children's game type of thing. <laughs>
that he was listening to the putter, the pitter patter of the raindrops coming through the monastery ceiling, where he was composing a lot of the preludes. But um, there is that recurrent note that doesn't want to go away, and um, he just felt like uh, he was doing something in terms of nature. And some people, I left my notes in the car, so this is going to be short, um, had something to do with the monks and the monasteries and all that. So, um, and uh, the middle section is like you have to go through pain in order to get back to peace.